Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how important focus is for app developers. <laughs> All right, so a lot of times in these videos, I like to show off my office. I like to move the camera around a little bit, show different parts of it. It's like a nice place I get to go work. But there's this huge problem with this office, and that's that it overlooks like a busy shopping area, right? And so, so sometimes you get a lot of lots of people walking through, but sometimes you get people like performing on the street. So it's either somebody with, it's never like a normal instrument, like a guitar, it's always a, like a mandolin, steel drums, steel drums drive me crazy, but the worst, the worst one is the bagpipes. He just started like 10 minutes ago. So I'm sitting here working, just thinking about how cool things are. It's a nice day. He ain't stopping. All right, it's a nice day and <laughs> the guy with the bagpipes comes out, right? But other than that, it's a perfect office. So let me just close the window here, just a second. That hasn't made much of a difference. I don't know if you guys can still hear it, but I could hear it. So anyway, one of the best things I did was move into an office about a year and a half ago, right? So for the longest time, I was working from home and I, I'd always have to have like a certain desk in some place where I can go and work and focus, right? Something that I could just focus on the work that I, that I do, right? And sometimes if there's background noise like this, I'll put on music, right? Uh, or, you know, with you know, kids playing in the next room, all this kind of stuff put on music, usually like the kind of music that would drown things out, but it all, all got a, a bit difficult, right? And one of the things that's really important, uh, if you do if you do client work especially, and you do, um, you do the code yourself, and you also um, you know, meet with clients and everything, you have to like really be careful about interruptions, or you have to like really marshal interruptions. A lot of times you'll get these, uh, and this is one of the problems of working at home, I'll, you know, I love my family, but we, I, I found that it got really difficult you know, in the house when I'm, I'm working and I'm like please don't bother me I'm working when really it's not a it's not a workplace it's a home right and it got uh, really difficult for God that, is that driving you crazy I kind of started out today with a little bit of a headache and now it's just getting worse right so anyway after a while I started to realize that my house should be a home it should be a place where everybody can can play and laugh and be joyful and you know listen to the TV too loud or turn the radio up too loud all that kind of stuff, but it became this place where I was like, hang on, I, I gotta make a phone call, everybody be quiet, or please don't bother me, I'm working, all this kind of stuff, right? And it's, it's difficult when you're trying to keep your family relationships and everything good, when you also have those kind of things. Like you, you have, the, you're torn between, I've gotta work on this project, but I've also got, you know, I also wanna have a good relationship with my, uh, with my family, all this kind of stuff. So moving into the office was something that really helped, right? So. One of the nice things, I gave you a tour of the office last year, last summer, I think. But, uh, and it's, you know, occasionally I move things around a little bit, but it's a nice, it's just a really nice place to have all my stuff, especially as a developer. Now, I've worked with other developers, like when contracting and stuff, that would just, um, they would work from home on the couch, which it sounds really good, but it's really, for me, I've always found it difficult to work on the couch. Not because of distractions, just because it's nice to have everything laid out the way you want it. And one of the nice, one of the best bits about having an, uh, an office to move into was that it, um, you know, like when I could just set up everything exactly the way I want, I could just leave everything at night, come back, it's exactly the way that I wanted when I, when I first left it. I don't have to, you know, tidy up unless a client comes by. Uh, you know, if I, if I want to try, you know, get some new monitors, all that kind of stuff, it, it just kind of does. So for those of you who are working from home and you're working for yourselves, you know, take a look at offices in your area. It was just something that it hadn't really occurred to me because I thought, you know, I, I kind of I felt like a poser looking for an office. Like I'm trying to be this important businessman by going, I've got my office out there, right? But it was really, it was almost like, it was just, it was my fortress of solitude most of the time. So anyway, I'm sorry this video is going to be brief today. It just, um, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes we get interruptions like this. That's it for today, though. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. As long as I'm